Okay, this is going to be a short video. Yeah. It's a good place to stop it coming up here, so, yeah. Yeah, I'll continue here. That the book. Oh, yeah. So basically, this his book. Talk about my book, the wrath of, called the Wrath of Ramadar. So basically, his book also has a Muslim monster in it. Oh, you're talking about the Wrath of Ramadar. It's not a Muslim. It's actually a science fiction metaphor for Islam in general, for it forces the native inhabitants. It's about uh, the native inhabitants of a planet to being forced to space face a specific direction so it can feed off their life forces twice a day or risk having one of their cities destroyed in Godzilla-like fashion, i.e. terrorism. That the book alone will come to hunt him or warn people and give people an idea on how to fight Islam. I do not take it lightly if a Muslim or non-Muslim uses the Quran out of context. Me neither. That's how have I ever taken the Quran out of context. I presented Quran 98 6 of why the Quran says non-Muslims are the worst of creation and you present scriptures before it that supposedly contradict what I say about Quran 98.6 well if so how did you contradict what I say and prove that I was taking Quran 98.6 out of context who is the one doing taqiyah line for Allah here if the book claims to have been written by the creator of all creators then context is of key Again, I present Quran 98.6 of why the Quran says non-Muslims are the worst of creation and you present scriptures before it that supposedly contradict what I say about Quran 98.6. Well, if so, how, again, how, do, how did you contradict what I say and prove that I was taking Quran 98.6 out of context? How? Who is the one doing taqiyah? Line for Allah. Hmm? Language changes over time because of the environment and what it promotes. Take the word religion. And it gives me something to see. I go, oh, I agree that words change over time, especially if you don't like the original words uh, what, uh, for what they mean. For one thing, al alak used to mean the clot or the blood clot. And sometimes it also means the congealed blood. Uh, which was the name of Surah 96 and where Surah 96 is still even to this day called the clot but since an embryo is never a blood clot and since it was discovered that an embryo attaches itself to the wall of the uterus al alak also now also means clinging leech like substance Surah, 90, Surah 96 is still pretty much called the still pretty much called the clot but how much you want to bet that given time, Muslims will change it to what it really should be called, the ball of dividing cells, or it should be the ball of living dividing cells. For a ball of dividing cells, living dividing cells, are what an embryo truly is. Most atheists don't even know they are following a religion. True. Then do you think this Nanan Yazwar is going to understand the Quran? Impossible. Why did I say I was an atheist? I even believe in Allah. And I don't believe Allah has a son either. I do believe Allah is right about being the best of deceivers and do believe Allah has three daughters that Muhammad bowed down to to get the pagans on his side before he just before he decided it was a bad idea and, and blamed it on Satan for him bowing down and putting words in his mouth. I also believe Jibril uh, or whatever it was, was squeezing Muhammad every time he said he couldn't read to the point where he thought he was deemed possessed. They don't understand the language they speak. Maybe not, but I'm not an atheist. How on earth are they then going to understand the Quran? By being very gullible about, about it and ignore the Quran telling you to go to those who have been reading the before scriptures? That'd be Quran 1094. When you, a Muslim, believe only the Quran is not corrupted? Which of, so, which of so importance when it comes to understanding it? Take the word worship. And then he gives me something to see. So many levels to one word. Right. So many words. Someday, alak. Al alak will mean ball of dividing cells instead of a leech. For again, a ball of dividing cells is an embryo, never a blood clot. 
for a blood clot is dead, useless blood. And then they think they can understand things? Not if the earth is truly on the back of a giant fish called none. Yeah. And then they think they can understand things? Not if the earth truly is on the back of a giant fish called none. When all evidence points to the earth being round and rotating and orbiting the sun rather than the sun orbiting the earth, they cover this in Freemasonry. Cover what? That the earth is on the back of a giant fish and the sun is asking permission to rise when it sets? What? Language. And how all comes to be as all is called for language? Well, to me, language only makes sense if it can be backed up by facts. If we are truly on the back of a giant fish with the sun orbiting and only appearing that the earth is rotating, then I'll start pulling out a prayer rug and sticking my patootie up in the air five times a day. I'll even be washing my nose out three times in the morning to get Satan out of it, even though his farts are completely odorless every time the call to prayer is sounded somewhere in the world on every hour as he sleeps away in my nose at night, like Muhammad says in Sahih Authentic Hadith. And I say to the other Muslim, I thought New had already done that. You're talking about Quran 98, 1 through 6, true? And then he jumps in and says, I'm telling you to understand that. Read the title and then take into account of whom Allah is speaking of and in them verses. And I will find out that non-Muslims aren't the worst of creation. You sure about that? People who have been shown the signs. Have you been shown that? These people whom God speaks of know the truth but choose to worship Satan because it serves them. How is it true that the Quran confirms any book if only the Quran is not corrupted or lost? How is it true that an embryo is a, is a clot of congealed blood for any amount of time? You think an embryo is a blood clot for 40 days? You think, a, you think an embryo is blood for 40 days, blood clot for another 40 days, and a morsel of flesh for another 40 days, like, Muslim, like Muhammad says in Sahih Authentic Hadith? If the Quran didn't go counter to science and ethics, the first part of Quran 424 comes to my mind uh, off the bat with the ethics part, I'd be more likely to stop five times a day and waterboard myself with water up my nose. Well, if there was no water about, maybe even snort clean soil up my nose, like the Quran infers a Muslim should do if there is no water for ablution. So you read the chapter before, like before, like I stated. What? So you read the, so you read the chapters before, like I stated. And they will say non-Muslims aren't the worst creation. You sure about that? Which scriptures in the Quran does it say that it even? Where, where does in the script? Where which scripture in the Quran does it even say non-Muslims are just okay in creation instead of worse creation? You know where where does it say they're just okay? You just jump to what you have, then expect and expected. Then expect the expected. Can't just take the Quran. Take, can't you just take what the Quran says in English by going to the Muslim website Islam Awakened and see all the different translations of the Quran in English when it comes to Quran 98, 1 through 6? If not, are you saying those who translate the Quran into other languages are in conspiracy to make the Quran sound evil, stupid, and or at least confusing? You know? That's it for night. I'm going to bed. Bye.